Watch you guys, got another hardware review here for you. This one's the NAT Anti-Copy USB Flash Drive. Now this is uh, two types of flash drives that I've got here. Uh, these are awesome if you want to protect your data. Now this is this version here is the specialized version. Uh, this is the 32 gigabyte one. It's got some key features on it. Uh, copy prevention, data encryption, uh, easy to use, advanced custom hide, and also print delete format prevention as well. Pretty awesome uh, uh, USB flash drive. Now this is good for photographers, uh, PC repair techs, doctors, slizzers, any type of uh, industry that you're in. Comes in a nice snazzy little box here, as you can see. Uh, pretty standard this size. Uh, this is the standard USB 2.0 size here. Comes with some embossing on here and a little key ring holder. Comes with its own lid. As you can see now it's a software based uh, type encryption on here as well which comes preloaded on here. You put your password on and as you can see it's pretty small and pretty handy. I'll take a look at the other one here for you. Uh, now these ones, the other one's supposed to be waterproof as well I think. This is the 8 gigabyte version and this is the partition version. But as you can see here I've got promo codes for both of these 20% off and as you can see this is a tiny little one. Uh, it's it's a nice little uh, tiny uh, metal type uh, USB flash drive as you can see very small in the hand and this has got a hole in the back so you can put it on your key and uh, as I said no one will be able to get your data off of this uh, once you've got your password on there and it prevents any copying to it once you've got your password on so you can't infect any computers when you plug it in. Okay so let's take a look at our USB flash drive here, our anti-copy USB flash drive. Uh, what I'm going to do here is plug it into the machine into a USB 2.0 port. Uh, that's because this is a USB 2.0 pen. And uh, it does work in USB 3.0, but you won't get those USB 3.0 speeds. So if I see once I've plugged this in, I've just plugged this into my USB 3.0 port. And as you can see here, it does recognize it, but we won't get those speeds. So I'm going to run the NAT.exe. And this is the actual software, so we need to say yes to the user account control. And this will then open up and initialize our environment. Uh, so what we're going to do here is let this boot up. And then it's going to ask us to probably set up a password. Okay, so now we can see here, you can see down the bottom, enter the lock status. So you can see this is our uh, secured disk I should imagine that uh, means SEC DISK and uh, you can see a big padlock up here now if we click on this padlock it's gonna set up and unlock a password so what we need to do here is set up a password between 6 and 16 characters case sensitive and then we need to put that in again to set up a password. Now remember, if you do lose this password, you will not be able to retrieve uh, this data. You will need to flash, uh, format the flash drive and it will then become a standard flash drive. So let's just put in our password here. I'm just gonna put in something that I can remember. Uh, so I'll put that in and I'm gonna put something else underneath, exactly the same. So now we've got the two identical uh, passwords here and then click OK and the password has changed successfully. Now you can export uh, this key if you wish to restore back to factory settings if, you, if you've forgotten it. And this is an important step because obviously if you forget your password, this will allow you to uh, reset it back and you don't lose the software. So I'm gonna say yes here. And it's gonna allow us to export this to say our desktop. I'm just gonna put that on there for now. And you can now see we have a, a key on here. F back file, that's our key. And you can now see that this is now unlocked. So if we go into our pen drive, I'm just going to quickly open this up here. We can see here now this is our pen drive. So if I put some stuff inside here, let me just say I put this in. Into here, I'm just going to copy this across. Okay, so now we can see our files are in in our pen drive here. Okay, so what we want to do here now is we want to lock our content. 
So you can see here we have the padlock and it's not red. You can see it's unlocked. It's under the unlock status, which means it's not uh, been locked and you can edit or add or remove files. So if I wanted to delete anything in here, I could do because the, the actual uh, pen drive is unlocked. So if I click on this, uh, we can then click OK here and it, it will then process and lock down uh, this thumb drive. You can see that's now locked and it's got anti-copy. So if I try to put in, say for instance, uh, something else, let me just say I'll try to put in some ransomware onto there. You'll say, you, it will say you, uh, you'll need to provide administrator uh, permission to copy to this folder. So if I say continue, it won't let you. And that's because it's locked and there's a, a password on this thumb drive here. Okay, and that's how it works. And it doesn't matter what files they are, it won't let you put them on because it's now been protected by our password. So let me just say I wanted to put this text document on there or this uh, key. What we need to do is we need to click on it And now we need to put in our password and this will unlock uh, our thumb drive. So what we need to do is just put in our password, just like so, click OK. It will then go through the process of unlocking that. And now we can easily copy stuff across, as you can see here, very simple, very easy. Now let me just uh, lock this down. We can double click on this and all you need to do here, you can go into settings if you wish and you can put an expiry date you can put usage times and you can also uh, uh, read pin which is generate a new pin here and you can keep your old pin it's entirely up to you if you want to change this here um, but what we're going to do is click OK here and this will now lock this down so now we can lock this down and as you can see here if I wanted to uh, copy this into this place keep both files let me see there we go so we can take stuff off but we can't put stuff on that means there will be no way of getting viruses onto this thumb drive now this is great if you're a pc repair tech and uh, you've got all your tools here and you don't want to get contaminated and contaminate uh, your usb flash drive from viruses on the computer and stuff like that and get an auto run virus or whatever it is that uh, could be on that computer that could jump onto your thumb drive and then you take it back home load up some new tools and guess what's going to happen it's going to infect your machine as well or your bench machine so that's basically how you can protect those with this uh, particular type of tool now it does state that this does work with uh, windows 10 uh, and windows uh, xp and vista and windows 8 i haven't tested it on windows 10 i can do that if you wish uh, this is a, a virtual machine but uh, let me try and do that for you and we'll see what happens Okay, so let's uh, plug in our USB flash drive into our Windows 8.1 machine here. I didn't install Windows 10, I've got Windows 8.1 here, but it should suffice in this test. So I've we've already had a look at it in Windows 7, so now we're going to plug her in into our Windows 8.1. Now if you are interested in purchasing any of these, I have actually got a 20% promo code for both of these, uh, which you can get. Okay, now I don't get anything for it. It's just 20% off if you do want to purchase them. Now, these are very, very useful for any type of industry, whether you be a photographer, school teacher, um, solicitor, any, anything like that, you know, PC repair tech, you can keep all your stuff on there and keep it safe and uh, make sure that no one else can get access to that data. Very, very useful. Uh, if so, if you want a 20% uh, coupon, then look in the description and you can use that on Amazon and you will get 20% off the price there. Anyway, so let me have a look here. We've plugged her in and you can see here, we can right click here and explore and we should see the USB flash drive, gonna say yes to the user account control and this will then start to initialize an environment. It's just gonna do that for us right now. And there we have it. The pen drive is still locked uh, from the previous version. Now, also, if I wanted to add stuff in here, uh, I can't add anything in because obviously it's uh, protected. You can see here we can't do that. Also, I can't right click on here and I cannot delete anything because that is also protected, as you can see. So you can't do any of that stuff here. Now, also up the top right here, you can right click on this as well. You've got explore, unlock 
uh, protection status and also you can quit and about okay so you've got that up here as well now if you wanted to add some more content in all you'd need to do is you can either right click or double click on it and uh, you can unlock and then you can put in your password which we created on our previous operating system so you can see it's totally uh, used useful on different computers as you can see we've now opened this up and I can now drag and drop this straight in just like so anyway I'm going to wrap this one up so I hope you enjoyed it guys I hope this video was useful to you if you want to purchase this remember the promo codes will be in the description for each and each one of those uh, USB flash drives and uh, I'll be uh, making more videos again in the future. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests, or you've got any products that you'd like me to do a review of, just like this one, then also you can post that on the forum and send me a message, or you can get me on Facebook, uh, where uh, the link is on the screen right now. Okay, or you can send me an email. It's entirely up to you, whichever way you want to do it. Anyway, so thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.